hello everyone so today i am going to impl uh, implement uh, this red attack so if i go near them they start attacking me actually not attacking they just kind of gang up on me so like this if i leave the area if I stay close to them, they still come at me. But if I leave the area far enough, they ignore me like this. And go closer, and they are coming. All right. So let's see how to implement this system today. okay so i added the third person template into this map and set the game mode as bp third person game mode if you don't know how to add the third person template you can go to add feature or content pack and use this third person now when you play we can get the character but the rats don't care about the character for now so right so how to make them attack the character for that uh, first uh, let me open the ns rats here i'll add a new user parameter it's it should be a vector parameter let's name this one Player location. Oh, that's an additional P. Right, by default it is zero zero zero. And then I'll add this is not used. I'll add a line attraction force. So as the line start, I'll use player location and as the line end, let's use, let's add a vector to this one and use player location and that may be 80 or 60 to that. So now, you don't see any difference. Oh, this value, let's try 200. See, now they are coming to this point. And since the location is 0, 0, 0, this is where they gather uh, let's add the uh, empty character here into zero 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 location um, right what if i increase the value Okay, now they get on top of each other. Right. But still, this is just a static number. So if I play the game, it's still. Oh, wait. Still there. They are just gathering there. They are not following the player's location. So, how to address that? Right. So, this is what we have after creating the blueprint. Wait. Uh, 
my recording just stopped let me undo this and with this let me show you again select this one new empty no new convert selection to blueprint class select harvest component name this one bpnsrats right now here we have bpnsrats and this is what we have so here under the event tick let me get the niagara component set use dot play location and as the in value I'll get player character get the location put it like this okay now they do come towards the player character see Great. So one more issue. So if I run away from them, they still sort of try to come to this direction. But since their lifetime runs out, so what I want to do is uh, when if player leave the region that the rats are in, they should stop trying to uh, attack the player. So to do that, I'll add another user parameter. Float. Attract. Attack. Let's call it attack. Okay. And then, by default, attack is zero. Is line attraction force attack attraction strength I'll multiply this with another float A is 500 P attack now by default it would be zero now again they wouldn't care about the player they just move randomly okay now I'll add another collider. It's a box collision. Let's make it like this. seems good enough uh, now we need a way to identify the player when we overlap with this object so first uh, here 
we have generated all app events let me do a begin our app and end our app let's add a print over lap um, Let's print the name of the actor if we start to overlap. So do an append overlapping the character's name. Similarly, when we leave this region, let's print overlapping and that. Let me keep this for a bit longer printed into the screen so that I can I have enough time to observe that. Overlapping third person character. Great. Overlapping and that. Okay. So it is working. And since I don't have any other characters for the moment, this would do. But if I have multiple characters we might have to add some different approach but for now this would work so when this happens now let me delete this other actor let me promote this to a variable let's call it uh, actor And when we leave, I'll set attack target to nothing. Here, I'll do another thing. Let me rename that Dora uh, Tracks. Get this. Set the variable set number or not vector float set number variable float. The variable name is attack user. Value, I'll make it one, and when the player leave the overlapping region, I'll set attack back to zero. And here I'll do this update only if I have a valid attack target. now oh they are coming I left the region now they are not coming they just move random but if I go closer now they do come see I don't have any damage implemented yet uh, but this is the base of the system okay so I'm gonna stop this episode right here if I leave the area they just do whatever they were doing right and thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download on the patron page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye